Welcome back. In our last tutorial we managed to get the rough outline of the body created for our South Park character. Our now job in this part of the tutorial is to figure out how to do these stripes on the shirt. So in order to do that we're going to first of all draw a rectangle and we're going to draw a rectangle that is approximately the thickness of the stripes we want to create and long enough so that it will cover the shirt. Now we could duplicate that rectangle again and again and again and try to get the spacing appropriate on the way down but we're going to find a simpler way to do that with tiled clones. So we're going to go to edit, clone, create tiled clones. Any time that you want to create multiple copies of something, especially if you want them spaced or rotated in a particular way, Tiled Clones is the most powerful tool for the job. In this instance, it's a fairly simple job. We choose Simple Translation. We want to make sure we have lots and lots of uh, rows to cover our shirt, so we'll go with 20 rows, but we only need one column. We go to the Shift tab, and we need to set basically two values. We need to set shift Y to 100 percent. That means we're going to shunt down each copy of that line 100 percent of its height. And the exponent set to 1. Nothing else has changed. The rest of these values should all be 0. And we don't need to scale these copies. We don't want to make them bigger or smaller. We don't want to rotate them. We're not going to blur them and we're not going to change the color. So we simply click Create and it creates our 20 copies of our line. Now we can delete our original, use our Select tool to come around. We'll move these out of the way and we're going to perform a couple operations on them. First of all we're going to go to Path and Combine. That creates one object that looks like that. Now we're going to come back to our body. First of all we need that to be black for the background so we're going to set it to black and I see that I've got some transparency going on there so I'm going to go Control Shift F to bring up our Fill and Stroke dialog box and we're going to remove that transparency, make it solid black. We need two copies of that, so we're going to go Control D to duplicate it, and we're going to drag that copy over top of our blue stripes. Now what we do is we select those two, and we go to Object, Clip, and Set. Now, what that does is it essentially overlays that pattern onto our body shape. Now we can move this roughly over top of our body, select the two of them, we bring up the Align and Distribute dialog box if it's not already up, that's this button here, and we line them on center one way and we line them on center the other way. And there we have our striped shirt. We should probably then highlight the two of them and use Control G to group them. I'm just going to move this over now into the middle. We can start to see, well, our stripes aren't exactly the same as this guy's, but you know what? They're pretty good. And now I'm going to move this down because South Park characters aren't known for, known for their long legs. So there we have the body roughly done. Obviously, the head is going to be one big circle. And I hold down the control key and that will constrain our circle so that we can draw a perfect circle. Select tool. We're going to move that over top. And then we're going to pick something that approaches a flesh tone. If we didn't like that, okay, again, Control Shift F brings up our fill and dialog box. 
and we can rotate that around the color wheel here make make it a little bit warmer we can come pretty close to our original so now again with the head drawn we're going to align things on the vertical axis that puts his head square on his shoulders and probably so that for the time being anyway so that we don't move anything around we'll just highlight all those pieces and go control G to group our next task would be to draw the eyes. We're going to need some ellipses for that. Something like that. Click on our select tool. Clicking once gives us the resizing handle. Clicking again gives us the rotational handles so that we can tilt that in. Oops didn't mean to do that part. Click on it again so we can now move it into place. Now I'm going to duplicate that with control D. I'm going to flip it by coming up here and then I'm going to move the duplicate over. I'm going to select them both and I just held down the shift key while I clicked to do that. I will align them along their bottoms and then we will group them and then once again select those together with our person and align them along the center axis need room for the hat whoops click out of there we need room for the hat so we'll move them down a little bit next job is pretty easy it's the eyes Pick the select tool, let's go with the black fill, and draw a very small circle, a little smaller than that, control D, might be a challenge to grab this guy without resizing him, but we'll try it. Okay, and I'm going to select those two and I'm going to align their bottoms. I'm going to move them down in this case. I'm just, yeah. Just move them down a little bit so he gets a little more suspicious looking. And we're going to group those with the rest of the eyes. Control G to do that. So, when we come back, we have to do hands, mouth, and hat in the next tutorials.